calm down. Just calm down. Let's do some breathing. Breathe in. Hold it. And exhale. Breathe in. Deeply. Hold it. And exhale. One more. Breathe in real deep, take all that air in, fill your chest, hold it, and exhale. You're fantastic. You can do this. If you need to use this exercise intermittently during your time there, that is okay. It's all right. One more. Breathe in real deep. Hold it. And exhale. Let it all out. All right. You got this. Let's get in there. You might want to wear elastic band pants or a skirt or leggings of some sort, a nice pair of joggers, oversized clothing, a roomy dress, a nice tunic. You'll look great and you'll be comfortable. This is not the time to try to get into some stiff-ass pants or something that is too small. Be comfortable. Enjoy the food. Enjoy your body. Enjoy your clothes. Consider soft materials. Be kind to yourself and your clothing choices. Elastic. Hey, adults, are you going to some sort of holiday party at a friend's or co-worker's house? Yes, you should bring something. Yes, maybe they said to not bring anything Do not listen to that. Bring something. Please listen to me. What do you know about the place you're going to? Think about it. A good bottle of wine. A good whiskey. A candle? A dessert. You should definitely ask if anyone is allergic to anything. You should bring something. Don't even think about not bringing something. You do not show up empty handed. And if you brought something, and you think you're going to take it home with you as well. Do not fucking do that. Don't be a lunatic. Are you a lunatic? Yes. You have to bring something. Ask. If they tell you exactly what to bring, Bring that thing. Please, bring something.
do you need to get the fuck out of there right now? Understandable. People are a lot. Have you thought about volunteering yourself for a store run or all of the store runs? Ice. Everyone definitely needs ice. Who cares if they don't really go get the ice? Do you need to go take a walk? Store runs. Do them. Get the things. Can you make up a thing if no one needs a thing? Something you forgot? Sure. But there will probably be a thing that needs to be got. Do you need to take more time? Well, there's traffic. Or there are long lines at the store. Or you had to go to multiple stores because insert thing here was out of stock. We all need to get the fuck out of there sometimes. Do you need to lean against a wall and smoke the stale pack of cigarettes you brought? Do you need to sit in your car and breathe heavily? Go do that. It's okay. Where are your pre-rolls? Consider a store run. Alcohol? People need that. Go do it. Go do it. I'm proud of you. Hey. Get out of the kitchen. If you're not cooking and no one has asked you to help, get out of the fucking kitchen. It is serious in there. I don't care if the space is open concept. Step away from the kitchen area. Studio apartment, step away as far as you can. Do something else, especially if one person is doing all of the cooking. Leave them alone. Find something else to do. You don't need to talk to them or to stand there. They're doing a lot of work. Maybe you don't understand cooking. Let me help you. Leave them alone. Get out of the kitchen. They don't need suggestions. As a person who cooks alone, get the fuck out of my kitchen. Get out. Get out of the fucking kitchen right now. Don't walk away and then come back. They don't need to see a TikTok. They don't want to hear about your day. They just want to finish cooking. Get the fuck out of the kitchen. How is your little job going? Someone might talk to you this way at the function or gathering you're attending. Your little job. And yes, it is diminishing. But friend, do not let this get to you. 
You know how hard you work. You know what you do, and you know who you are. You know that it is not a little job. It is not a small accomplishment. It is a big deal. You are a big deal. Unless it's a job working with minuscule and microscopic things, then maybe, okay, that's a fun play on words they used. But I'm guessing that it is not. It is a big job. It might even be your dream job. Don't worry about it. You can even repeat, my little job, when you say how your big ass job is doing. It doesn't take anything away from you, friend. That is their problem. And who the fuck cares about unpacking that problem right now or ever? Eat some delicious food and have a good time. And if you feel like saying, it's not a fucking little job, friend, go ahead. It's up to you. I'm just saying, you know who the fuck you are and what you do. It is not a little job. We are unbothered and beautiful in our big ass jobs. In our big ass jobs. Your friend. Is your family still referring to your partner as your friend? You are in a non heterosexual relationship, possibly new, possibly decades long. Your friend. Perhaps it's even like your little job. Your little friend. Feel free to say that they are not just your friend. Someone has to do it at some point. Also see your roommate or your situation regarding anything non-traditional to their understanding. Deal with it how you need to deal with it. It would be nice to put the kibosh on it at some point. Maybe this year is the year. Or maybe you're just waiting for people to die out. Also, understandable. In any case, I know that it is frustrating, and I'm sorry that the world is slow for all of us. And you and your friend Have you found the other family members with the drugs yet? Keep looking. Someone has them. Maybe 
you accidentally forgot to bring your drugs. Maybe you've done all of your drugs already. Maybe you're looking for someone to do the drugs with so you can feel less alone whilst doing the drugs. Make sure it's a person you trust who isn't going to snitch about drugs. Make sure that it's a person you would trust to not give you crazy drugs. Make sure that you are not giving drugs to any children. Make sure that these particular drugs won't make you feel crazy. This isn't the time to try a new drug. Know your drug dealer. If you are the drug dealer, all of the above applies to you. There are definitely other people in the house doing drugs. Best of luck. Holiday babies. It is your birthday and also mine. We are a group of people that have learned how to deal. Perhaps you're like me and sometimes a holiday changes its date and falls right on your birthday. If it is the day or not, it is still hard to be celebrated. It has always been hard. People go away. They go to see their families or on vacation. You might have one or two friends around. That is a quietly sung happy birthday song. I see you. I know you. I am you. We are going to be great. We have made it this far. Maybe they didn't even get you a cake. That sucks balls. We are both stronger and weaker because of our birthdays. So hats off to you, my people, holiday babies. I celebrate you. I celebrate myself. Holiday babies, the struggle is real. So you still don't know how to play spades. That's okay. It doesn't make you less deserving of a good time. And guess what? No one is expecting you to know at this point. There are other activities you can do. You don't have to play spades. I'm not sure what happened, but you just never learned for whatever reason. And that's okay, friend. That's okay. When are you giving us some babies? When are you getting married? I know someone. 
I want to hook you up with someone. What about so-and-so's kid? What about that person you dated a long time ago? You know, you're not getting any younger. You know, no one is going to want you. You're in a phase. Why do you hate us? Is that why you are the way you are? Because you hate us. Listen, friend. Some or all of these might happen. And I want you to know that you were you before you got to the house and you're still gonna be you after you leave. So don't sweat it. You don't have to have babies. You don't have to get married. You don't have to get set up. That kid of so-and-so has always been a terrible person. Maybe doesn't even make any sense with who you are as an entity to date or meet or glimpse at momentarily. Everyone gets older. It's a good thing. People will love you, and you will love you. We all go through phases, but I'm guessing that your sexual orientation, gender expression, gender identity, it's not that. It's a journey. Enjoy your journey or your already solidified state. And hey, maybe you do hate them. Maybe it's because of this. You're not doing it because of that. You were you before you got to the house and you're going to be you after you leave. You were you before you got to the house and you're going to be you after you leave. You were you before you got to the house and you're going to be you after you leave. And guess what? You're still you while you're there. You're still you. And you is fucking great.